So these are the two songs we're gonna have. We're playing for that, right? For this shit. Back on this though. Back on mine. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So slow. If you select your mastermind, you select your mastermind with care. You will have in it at least one person who will aid you in the development of persistence. Some men who accumulated, some men who have accumulated great fortunes did so because of necessity. They developed the habit of persistence because they were so closely driven by circumstances that they had to become persistent. There is no substitute for persistence. It can be, I, I, oh shit, I have a rat. It can be, it, you know, it cannot be supplemented by any other quality. <clears throat> remember, remember, remember this. And it will hearten you in the beginning. When the going may seem difficult and slow. Those who have cultivated the habit of persistence seem to enjoy insurance against failure. No matter how many times they are defeated, They finally arrive <clears throat> up toward the top of the ladder. Sometimes it appears that there was a hidden guide whose duty is to test men through all sorts of discouraging experiences. Those who pick themselves up after defeat and keep trying to arrive. All right? And the world cries, bravo. I knew you could do it. Mm, 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 mm. That's what's up though, that shit, time and shit, you know what I'm saying? Timeless hits on wax.
music that bring you know what I'm saying? Those who pick themselves up after defeat and keep on trying arrive. And the world cries, bravo. I knew you could do it. And to keep on trying. The hidden guide lets no one enjoy great achievement without passing the persistence test. Those who can't take it simply don't make it. I had that. I'm about to put that shit to accent. They said simply don't make the grade. Those who can't take it simply Those who can take it are bountifully rewarded for their persistence. Right?
Those who can take it, make it. You know what I'm saying? They say make it. I'm gonna let it make it.
So those who can make it are bound up fully, bound up fully, rewarded for their persistence. Where I work, they receive as their compensation. A lot of compensation is what I work. We good, but whatever goal they are pursuing. They receive something infinitely more important than material gains, and I would say material compensation, the knowledge. So they receive something infinitely more important than material compensation. The not yeah, I to to salute. You say these the knowledge that every failure brings, every failure brings with it. Hold on. Yeah, I would say is though, but the knowledge that every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent advantage. <clears throat> so I said we're gonna take our time with this deep delve, deep dive in it, and. On some real shit. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me relax. I need to relax. Yeah. Turn it up. Cause I'm like, damn. I, I'm gonna make a fucking song for AR screen on some real shit. She know what. Audrey, wait, 
she was 17, 18, 19, I know it. <clears throat> yo, there's one specific moment, yo, I'm saying, I'm trying to tell you. It was after her fucking junior prom, nigga. She was so fucking good. And she remembers this, it was when she had her junior prom fucking hairstyle. And... We're gonna say, so, okay, so say her junior prom was five, 18, 2014. So, 8, 8, 2014. She still had that same hairstyle, but it was different. So, in her thing, she, she boom, but then it was like, she still had the same hairstyle. She looked so fucking good. Oh my goodness. So, she was 17, but then <clears throat> 18, but then we're gonna bounce. So, 17, but then we're gonna bounce to 19. Another, because she looked, even you look so mature at certain points. Her, her of 17, but then when she went to you know, bounce past 18 and 19, certain, a certain point, if she had a weave, I believe a weave, at a certain point, 17. All right, but then, a certain point when she was 19, right? And she was already in college, but it was, she had more natural. She was not natural. She just had her. She just had her hair like in, I don't know what a ponytail, but like a ponytail was like just like something like this, but in a ponytail, her hair is longer. So like this, but it's longer. But no makeup. Like she didn't have makeup then either. What I'm saying is though, when I when I'm saying what I'm talking about, because there's a certain there's a certain thing when I say hey, yeah, yeah, but but even then, even she's like yeah, I look I look a bit young. Who's that? Maybe young. Who's that? But she was 19 though. So it's like a, it's not a thin line at all. It's not a thin line. It's like, oh, I'm 17 or 18 or 19. It's not a fucking thin line. I'm 34. Right now, it's not a thin line. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm 34. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's not a thin line. Like, how old are you? I'm 34. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not a thin line. I'm, okay. Hey, I mean, because that's not even a great example. But my point is, I mean, for me, for instance, it's not a thin line. I could pass, I could pass, if I say, if I say I'm 28, I could pass 28. If I say I'm 36, I can pass for 36. I mean, I'm 34, regardless of what you believe. I mean, my point is, okay, so let me get what I'm saying. Let me get what I'm saying. But anyway, anyway, it's not random, but it's not random at all. That's my point, but. Thank you, bitches. Thank you, motherfucker. Have you seen her? You like, oh my god. She's intimidating. Now she ain't seen her. Like, uh, uh. Space. Place. Yeah, close, 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 close. I'll dump my nose. Right. 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 Right.
He's amazing as well, she's all mine. Me and C for the comments on my shit too. What's up though? For sure. Alright, let's go. So. Mm There are exceptions to this rule, so what you Right? A few people know. Mm -hmm. From experience the soundness of persistence. They are the ones who have not accepted defeat as being anything more than temporary. I don't know what that means. Right, let's continue. Let's see what the other. Let's go back. The knowledge that every failure brings with it the seed of an equivalent advantage. I will give you a so. <clears throat> There are exceptions to this rule. A few people know from experience the soundness of persistence.
They are the ones who have not accepted defeat as being anything more than temporary. I can break that down only because the way I'm reading it, it's not broken down great. The way I'm reading it and how I'm reading it, I word. So, they are the ones whose desires are so persistently applied that defeat is finally changed into victory. Will you stand on the sidelines of life? See the overwhelming large number who go down in the feet. Never to rise again. We see the few who take the punishment of defeat Hmm. as an urge to greater effort. These, fortunately, never learn to accept life's reverse gear. And I'm going to post this mother... It's like, yeah! I'm going to post this motherfucker motherfuck here, though. Let me see. So, I word and post the motherfucking... I'm, I'm sure I did that at all, too, but, yeah. The audio shit on, on YouTube is word. Yeah, that's what it is. I told that I But what we do see, what most of us never suspect of existing, right? What most of us never expect of existing is the silent but irresistible power which comes to the rescue of those. who fight on in the face of discouragement. If we speak of this power at all, we call it persistence and let it go with that. One thing we all know if one does not possess persistence, one does not achieve noteworthy success in any calling. Jean Paul Sardines. One of the what make up, yeah. As these lines are being written, I look up from my work and see before me, less than a block away, the great mysterious. Hmm. Broadway is good. Mm hmm. Dear, here we go right here. Word. The graveyard of dead hopes. Oh, in the front porch of opportunity. <clears throat> From all over the world, people have come to Broadway seeking fame, fortune, power, love, or wherever.
whatever it is that human beings cause exist. One thing we do all oh, know, if one does possess persistence, one does achieve notable, noteworthy, notable, I ain't no word, noteworthy, as these ones be written, all right. People are from all over the world. People have come to Broadway seeking fame, fortune, power, love, or whatever it is that human beings call success. Once in a great while, someone steps out of. Hold on. Yeah, when you say, see, if it goes longer, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a gauge it. I'm a just gauge it. I'm not going to give you a fucking specific thing, but you'll see at the end of it literally what it is. So, I'm, I'm going to put it up playing plastic, but I'm going to turn it up for sure. I'll do it right there. 
The Marlboro Rebel will come to Broadway, Zeke and I were, were at once in a great while. Oh, wait, hold on. Once in a great while, someone steps out from the long. Oh. Once in a great while, someone steps out. From the long procession, fuck it, of seekers, and the world hears that another person, okay, has mastered Broadway, but Broadway is not easily nor quickly conquered. She acknowledges talent, recognizes genius, pays off in money only after one has refused to quit. Fuck. <clears throat> Fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
is not easily nor quickly it was in nor quickly conquered. She acknowledges talent, recognizes genius, pays off in money. Damn, hold on a second. I'm about to say, nigga, hold up. Oh. We'll play it out. <clears throat> Shit. I mean, it's not to the end, but we'll play it out. We're going to fucking. <laughs> It said, she, right? She acknowledges talent, recognizes genius, pays off in money only after one has refused to quit. Then we know he has discovered the secret of how to conquer Broadway. Hold on a second, dog. So, the secret is always <laughs> insurmountably attached to one word persistence. Nigga, we don't keep going nowhere. This shit is 